Ephilim, which are discussed in Genesis 6, which I'll read right now. When making when mankind began to multiply on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of mankind were beautiful, and they took any they chose as wives for themselves. And the Lord said, My spirit will not remain with mankind forever, because they are corrupt. Their days will be 120 years. The Nephilim were on earth both in those days and afterwards, when the sons of God came to the daughters of man who bore children to them. They were the powerful men of old, the famous men. And that's all we have in the Bible about the Nephilim. Literally it. In the Bible. And the idea is that after they died, and this is a little bit, I, I, well, I'm not quite sure why, but over here in Got Questions, after they were destroyed in the flood, the disembodied souls became the demons, the Nephilim, speaking of the Nephilim. So that's a theory as to who demons are. Interesting. Nephilim are a very interesting idea in the Bible and in real life. Why is Sirion the main through line with the Nephilim in the Bible is the Philistines and the idea of giants come from the Nephilim, that they are descendants of the Nephilim. And I've heard other theories as well saying that People from Iceland and Greenland, like the Nordic people, or Norway even, that the giants of today, the big, massive, muscled men, are the descendants of the Nephilim. Because they're st like, like they can still be up to seven feet tall. Seven and a half feet tall. And thick, burly men. Though that's not entirely certain. It could just be that the descendants of the Nephilim have dispersed so much. That's why bas basketball players, I guess you could say, are all descendants of Nephilim. That's just a crazy theory, though. A conspiracy theory. But, but what is more interesting is still the idea that demons, the devil, and fallen angels are separate beings. The devil, we know, is considered is Satan. Demons, by association, are then assumed to, to be the fallen angels though we don't necessarily have 100% concrete evidence either way is he got a giant probably he's literally god he can be whatever he wants he could be a midget for all we know But, oh my goodness, my internet is really annoying me. But I tend to lead towards, oh my goodness, why is there a 30 second delay? <sighs> you know, some of this just makes me believe with certainty that Satan isn't liking these conversations because sometimes I will have really bad internet and it tends to only be when I do Bible talks. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Also, my computer is going to overdrive. I don't know why the fans are going so wild. Oh, great. Okay. So, I guess I'll just wrap this up and maybe try to get to internet to work later. But to wrap it up, I think that there is a very interesting thought to that angels, demons... And fallen angels are separate beings entirely. We know angels are different than fallen angels. We know a third of the angels fell to earth or hell. 
when they tried to rebel against God under the oversight of Lucifer. Obviously, they failed. And that we know demons exist. And we know that spirits exist. The contention is whether or not they are fall fallen angels or demons or they are something else. Other s evil spirits that are then controlled and utilized by the devil and Satan. I personally think that it's probably still just fallen angels or demons. There's not too much that I've seen to indicate that fallen angels can't be the demons or that there aren't different layers of it. We know that there's a hierarchy to the angels, so why isn't there a can't there be a hierarchy to the de demons? That's kind of my take on it. But I want to keep this in mind, that the spiritual beings in this world are either of God or of the devil. There's no in between. There are no ghosts. The idea of ghosts is the reason why I initially wanted to talk about this is because my next Bible discussion, assuming I don't delay it because I want to do further research, will be about hunting ghosts. Channels, specifically channels on YouTube that go out and try to find spirits to interact to interact with them to try to understand more about them why they linger that sort of stuff and the in the essence the point of spirit connections and i think it's a very interesting topic because we we know as a christian that there are spirits good and evil that to say there is no spiritual realm is crazy. We have the spirit of God in us as Christians. So why wouldn't there be a evil spirit as well? And I think that's where part of the danger of these things, Ouija boards and other sort of rites and rituals that you can do as a spiritualist have consequences. And the dangers of trying to connect with ghosts. Because... As we'll I'll get into in next week's stream, ghosts are not real. The Bible is pretty clear that when you die, you are dead. You are either in hell or in heaven. And that to say that you might stick around and hang out for a while is preposterous. It is foolhardy. When you die, your choices have been made. And you will end up in one of two places. And there's some stuff I want to get into that a little bit deeper in next week's, next week's topic. But I just don't know if I'll... How exactly will implement it. But I, I just wanted to kind of end that off by briefly talking about this weird, crazy theory. I might just make this into a video. I don't know. I'm thinking about trying to just do more... Uh, I keep saying Wendigoon-style videos where it's like a ramble, me talking about something that I'm rambling about and I'll, you know, cite sources and all that. But I don't really know fully what type of videos I want to make. All I know is I don't like video editing, so I'm going to stick to live streaming. But I also don't know if that's going to just limit me in the wrong, long run because they're VOD footage, basically. Are people really going to want to watch that? Maybe I'll just upload this to Archive Jimmy. Who knows? I don't really know. All I know is God's in control, and I hope you st stay tuned and tune in to next week's adventure, whenever that ends up being. Until then, Godspeed, God bless, peace. Hi, I'm back. I've been here this whole time. And I can see this. What do you mean? Why wouldn't I be able to see my own video that I'm playing? All right. Uh, so spirits, what I what I mean by spirits is spiritual beings are real. Ghosts are not. Ghosts of humans are not a real thing. Oh, he's getting ads.
All right, our ad's done. I can't tell. Okay, so duck if you didn't hear. Spiritual beings are real, but not in the same sense of human ghosts. Humans on Earth, when they die, do not become ghosts, cannot become ghosts. Heaven or hell. But spiritual beings that are not humans exist. I might need to make that point a little more prevalent when I talk about it next week. We will see. Okay, but what am I going to do? Oh, duh. Elden Ring time. So yeah, so I finished out the talk. I got a little discouraged because of the internet acting how it was, so I just finished talking. I don't want to start this discussion again. I haven't even started yet, so you're just in time. I can't edit it in settings right now because I'm live. So if the stream dies, I'm sorry. Yo, Duck, you want to text Cat on Discord and just let him know that I'm streaming again? We've been talking about a thumbnail for the... I'm sad, can you show Cat? I... Don't... Have... Cat with me. Sorry. Oop, wrong way. All right, but Melania will die. Let us do this. Oh, yeah, it will probably be lagging. Yeah, because the stream just died again. Watch it be the low res version when I do actually beat Melania. Crap, waterfall dance. Awful day. Sad. Sorry to hear that. How many buses did you get? <laughs> it's not lagging anymore, right? Please, please don't be lagging. I need to be... Millicent. No, this isn't Millicent. Okay. 11 in total. So you got... Four more? 
Yeah, the record's 14 buses. What attempt is this? Guys, no, remember. It's first it's first try Friday. It's fine right now. Good. That's good. Hopefully we'll stay that way. My bitrate is fluctuating all over the place. I just got 5000 bitrate. Is it normal? Oh, now I got 900. Crap, how do you stagger? I always forget. remember what Spooky told me about how to dodge Waterfowl Dance. But we got free milkshakes? Dude, nice. All I got was free ice cream. 15 and... <laughs> I've only attempted... This This is 14th attempt, if anything. No, I don't even, th I don't even think I hit the double digits yet. I don't think I did 10 attempts last night. Gosh dang it. Of it's a Saturday. It's light attack. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Whole oh, hold RB. Alright. Yeah, because I get staggers on her the most out of any boss I think I've ever fought. Surprisingly, I told you not spooky. No, there was something spooky told me that you didn't tell me. Oh, is what Spooky specifically said. Hmm. You beat Starfield, dude? Bro, I haven't... Okay, I keep telling you I haven't played it. I haven't played it in, like, three weeks now, dude. And I'm super tired of not playing it. I want to play it. I'm glad to hear it's the W ending. And by, wait, you beat the main quest, right? Or did you finish most of the main quests? Or side quests? Either way, dude, that's awesome. I need to play more Starfield. But I've been stuck playing this game. That's always why I got it messed up. I didn't realize there's a hold RB. Oh, 
Guys. Are you supposed to dodge into Waterfall Dance? Oh, my contact lens just came out. Okay. That's new. Don't even get me started on Cyberpunk. I was told before Phantom Liberty came out by Brandon, who is one of my friends, who's a, he's also a YouTuber, that Cyberpunk story is really good and you should play it. So now I was just like, I'll wait until Phantom Liberty comes out. Well, joke's on you. I've been stuck playing Elden Ring because I've been playing Elden Ring because I got stuck on some of the bosses in Elden Ring. Oh, dude, there's so many games. I also don't own Cyberpunk, so... I haven't played it, obviously, but... It's like, there's so many games that come out. This feels like a job to try to play them all at this point. Just kill the Elden Beast. You kind of want to see Starfield? You're supposed to die to Waterfowl Dance. Oh... Well, isn't that what most boss attacks, you're supposed to die to them? Isn't that the idea? You're supposed to die to them? I gotta grab my glasses. I can't see I'm blind as a bat. Okay, I can see again. It's just to hype you up. No, but I want to beat Melenia. Makula, Blade of Mikkel. Mikkel McTrisker, I really want to beat her because, you know, she was hailed as, I think, the hardest boss of an Elden Ring, so I want to beat her. And I know I can do it. Wait, why doesn't... She deal bleed if her weapon does. That doesn't make sense. Make that make sense for me. Just be, uh, because hers is you're never not supposed to be able to dodge it. You're never supposed to be able to dodge it. Okay, I, I want to beat Elden Ring and hop to... Sorry. Working on thumbnail stuff. It's really really weird. I feel like I'm a actually business owner now or a project manager of a YouTube. I got people doing thumbnails for me. It's weird. Now I just need a video editor. It would be really crazy, though, if they didn't make her to be so powerful. It's like, you're not supposed to beat her. You're not supposed to be able to beat her. 
Dude, I'm hyped for Starfield. The graphics look good. They're not like interstellar or amazing, but they look phenomenal compared to other so uh, other Bethesda games I've played and seen. And I really just want to play Space Skyrim. Is that too much to ask for? I know some people are annoyed that uh, it needs to be more than that, which, yeah, there's an element that it should be more than just Space Skyrim, but... Oh, wait, was that Backstab? Only gave me a backstab? Wait, why did she gain so much health? Wait! Like the tutorial boss. Yeah, kind of like that. Like, you're not really supposed to be able to beat her. People, you if you try hard enough, you can, but you're not supposed to. That's exactly what it is, and it works. That's good to hear, Owen. I am really glad that it's just Space Skyrim. It also makes me really want to play Oblivion, because I heard people say it's like Oblivion. But I might... Dude, wait, I own Oblivion. I bought Oblivion. Why don't I just play that as well? Play Starfield, play Oblivion, play through Skyrim again. Play... I also have Fallout... Bro, I don't know why I buy new games. There are just so many old games I can just play. No, no, no. Stagger, stagger. No, that's not a stagger. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, I thought that was. Oh my goodness, she gained so much health from that. Wait, I why do you unfocus from her? Okay, second phase. Guys, I don't think... Oh, this isn't good. Tish canceled Waterfowl? That's what it was. That's why it looked weird. I do wonder, though, in... Starfield, why are there so many Earth remains still around? Like, popular landmarks. Wouldn't they have gone away by now wait wait 
Oh. Turns into a frickin' nine tailed fox. Wait, where exactly was I gonna go? The scarlet blue flowers once more. Hey, um, where are your eyes? Also, wh wh why do you have butterflies sprouting? F That's a lot of butterflies. Is this first time, second phase? Yeah. Because they look cool and have plot armor. <laughs> You're right, Owen. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why they're still around. Well, because if all of Earth is desolated nothing... What the frick? Is this the closest to a nude boss I've ever seen? Oh. Okay, well, that's good. Uh oh. Uh oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, I'm dead. Wait, I'm not dead. No, I'm dead. Frick! By the scarlet rot. Dude, it's just a nine tails. That's what it is. It's a nine tails. Oinian. Oinian? Pikachu, use fastball. Wait, no, Pikachu isn't a bas baseball Pokemon. I forgot that. <sighs> okay, so here's the trick. For second phase, I need to use less flasks so I can heal. Obviously. I feel like that should be pretty self-explanatory, but... Also, wait, why don't I just double hand it? Uh oh. Okay, got her. Frick. Bro. Just pray <laughs> Starfield or Oblivion. Or Skyrim. I could play Skyrim again. There's so many other games I can play. She doesn't even have one tail, let alone nine. No, but she looks like a nine tail. The bl the Scarlet Blossom looks like a nine tail. Bruh, don't- Bruh! Bruh! I will bruh you all I wish. Because I am playing on beating Melenia and Elden Ring. And then playing Starfield. So, don't bra me. Oh, wait. Ah, frick. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I made a tactical error. It was my mistake. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Tish, don't die. Uh... Oh, frick. The frick! How how are you supposed to dodge Waterfowl Dance? How are you supposed to actually dodge Waterfowl Dance? Hey Siri, how do you dodge Waterfowl Dance?
Pay attention to the direction of the wind. The waterfowl will always face the wind while they dance. So if you can position yourself behind them, they won't be able to see you. Stay low to the ground. The waterfowl will be looking for movement, so keep your body close to the ground. You'll be less likely to be seen. I don't think that's the waterfowl dance I'm looking for. Okay. Got it. Belgian waffles, this is a mess of a stream. Okay, is my internet die died again? It's died again. Dutch baby pancakes are better than Belgian waffles. I've only ever had a Belgian waffle, so I don't know how good a Dutch baby cake is. Wait, I have nine viewers? Hey guys, welcome back. Oh no, it's back to four. Crap. It's like if French toast was a pancake. So, here's the problem. I really like French toast. I hate pancakes. Can't stand him. Me streaming, but there's a del Oh my goodness, there's a- 